Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel of Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make cute dress with one shoulder and a strap. It's very easy to make. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. And I've, in this dress making, I have shown how you can adjust your own pattern paper. It doesn't matter if you're using one year's pattern paper, two years, three years, five years. The adjustment goes with all ages. And I, my dress right here is for five years old child please support us by subscribing turn on your notification bell button and select all options if my tutorial is helpful thumbs up make a comment down below if you have any question if you're a new subscriber you're welcome to hello angel design if you're old subscriber thank you so much for staying with us if you're just stopping by don't forget to click that red button that says subscribe and after that Turn on your notification bell button and select all options. And let's get started. First thing that we have to do, we are going to make adjustment on our pattern paper. The pattern paper I have here is for five years. So what you're going to do, you take a different paper. You can see a different paper right here. So I fold it into two so that I have a crease in between the pattern paper. But I'm also going to take my marker and just draw a straight line. So go ahead and do the same. I have given it a straight line. The next thing that you have to do, you grab your front pattern paper. This is my front pattern paper. We are not making adjustment on the back. We are only going to use the front pattern paper to make this dress. So what you're going to do, you place your front pattern paper, place it like this. You just go ahead and trace it all out. You can pin it in place so that it doesn't move. Go ahead and trace the front out like this. Once you have done that, then turn it on the other side. Make sure it's also at the mid part. Go ahead and trace it all out. Why I am placing my pattern paper tracing all out because these bodies that you see right here is half of the front pattern paper so right now we are going to make the full front pattern paper so this is half so when you place it like this it's half of the front you place it on the other side it's half of the front so together will be full front pattern paper so go ahead and trace your pattern paper out i have traced my pattern paper out what we are going to do we are going to make adjustment at the neck line the next thing that you have to do you take your measuring tape from the shoulder this is the shoulder and this is the neckline you place your measuring tape measure inside one centimeter so this is my one centimeter right here so i will just take my ruler and just give it a little straight mark because i don't want this to be too much curved inside place your ruler just go ahead and connect it like this once you have done that take your arm hole cord place it this is the arm hole you can see my arm hole right here on the other side then place your arm hole cord like this just go ahead and rotate it gradually you can see how it is you're just going to connect it all the way to this other side of the armhole. I'm just trying to position my armhole properly. So once you have seen that you have positioned your armhole properly, the next thing that you have to do, you're going to connect from where you mark all the way to the other side of the armhole. So you can place your hand so that your armhole don't move just go ahead and connect it down like this this is how you should connect your neckline so you can see how i connect the neckline together this will be the neckline of this top dress that we are making if you want to shorten the shoulder you don't want too much wideness for the shoulder you can also place your measuring tape from here i will measure down 0 0.5 so you just measure down 0 0.5 you just go ahead and connect it down to the armhole. So you can place your ruler or your armhole curve. You just go ahead and connect it down from here like this. 
So this is how it will look. Once you have done that, before you cut out your pattern paper, what you are going to do, so this is our shoulder, because we are going to place a strap on this shoulder. This is our shoulder. Remember, we measure inside one centimeter. So you also go ahead and measure inside one centimeter. So I have measured inside one centimeter. From this other end, we measure inside one centimeter. So from this other end, I also measure inside one centimeter. So what I'm going to do, I will place my measuring tape and I will measure inside 1.5 inch. That is one and a half inch. So I will just place it like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to connect this down and connect this down. Then place your ruler, you just go ahead and connect it down like this. And come down to this other side, go ahead and connect it down. Make sure it's 1.5 inch. So I have connected down. You can see how I connected down. Purpose of we marking this 1.5 inch for we have to know where we are going to place our strap. So we don't really need this. This is what we need so that when we are cutting our fabric, we just give it a cut here, a cut here. So that when we are putting our dress together, we know that this is the position we are going to place our strap. So before you cut out your pattern paper, go ahead and add your seam allowance. Depend on the seam allowance that you like to add on your fabric when you're cutting them out. Go ahead and add seam allowance around the neckline, around the shoulder, the armhole side seam, and then the bottom edge. So once you add your seam allowance, go ahead and cut it out. Then we can place it on our fabric and cut out our fabric. I have cut out my pattern paper and I've also add my seam allowance, one centimeter around the neckline, shoulder, armhole, side seam. At the bottom edge, I add half an inch seam allowance. And I am using this lace fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice. You can use cotton. Any fabric of your choice is really perfect for this dressmaking. So I will just open my fabric, pin my pattern paper on my fabric, and then cut it out. So when you are cutting out your fabric, make sure you cut two pieces for the male fabric, two pieces for the lining. And remember to also cut the skirt. If you are cutting the skirt of your top dress, you just take your measuring tape, measure around the waistline. The measurement that you get times that by two, or you can even add few inches to that to have more volume. Once you times that by two, the measurement that you get, just go ahead and cut it out. If you're going to cut out the length of your skirt, like the total length of my dress is 26 inches. So what I'm going to do, my top dress is 10 inch. So the remaining inches will be 16 inch. The length will be 16 inch and the width will be the total width of my made top waistline times two and then add few inches to that to have more volume. That will be the width of the skirt that you are going to cut. So I will go ahead and pin this in place right now. Once I am done pinning and I will cut it out. I have cut out my top, so I'm going to cut out my skirt. For my skirt, I'm not going to hem my skirt. I want this border, this design right here to be at the bottom of my skirt. So what I'm going to do, I will place my ruler. So the length of my skirt is going to be 16 inch. And the width of my skirt is going to be 27 inch. Inch, but I'm going to add about three inch to that to make it 30 so that I have a little bit of volume So I will place my ruler So before you measure your skirt make sure to minus your top out of the total length of your dressmaking I will place my ruler like this and I'm measuring down 16 inch
I have cut out my fabric. This is my made fabric and this is my lining. I cut two pieces for the top lining and I also cut the skirt. Cut two pieces for the top made fabric and I also cut the skirt. And my strap right here, I fold it into two. And I take a measurement of one and a half inch plus my one centimeter seam allowance to stitch the strap together. So I cut two pieces. The length of my strap is 14 inch. So this is how I cut my fabric. Let's put the dress together. First thing that you have to do, take your fabric. This is my main fabric. Make sure that the both front fabric are facing each other. Go ahead and pin the both shoulder seam. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. You take your lining, you do the same thing. Put the both shoulder seam together. Go ahead and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. You also go ahead and take your strap, put them together. This is the front of my strap. Just fold it into two like this. That once you have pinned them together, go ahead and give it a straight stitch all the way down. When you get to this other end, you can either stitch it across or you can either stitch it a diagonal way. So you repeat the same process with the second strap. So go ahead. I have stitched my top dress. This is how it is. I take it to my ironing board. I just press the shoulder seam apart. And I've also turned my strap inside out. I take it to my ironing board. I just press it very nicely. This is how it look. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to place our strap on the shoulder. Before you do that, if you remember when we were adjusting our pattern paper, we give it a mark where we are going to place our strap. This is my a little cut right here. Make sure to do that when you are cutting out your fabric. Once you have done that, place your strap like this. Place it at the mark that you already cut. You just go ahead and secure that with a pin. Once you have secured that with a pin, you also repeat the same process on the second shoulder. The next thing that you have to do, you take your lining. We are going to place it on the top dress. So you place your lining like this. Go ahead and pin around the armhole in the neckline. This will be the neckline of our top dress. I will take my pin around the armhole and the neckline, take it to my sewing machine and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. I have stitched my top dress together. This is how it look. The next thing that you have to do, we are going to put the both sides seam on the top dress together. You pick your top dress, you pick the May fabric, the May fabric together, the lining together. Go ahead and pin the side seam of the top together. I have pinned the side seam together. I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. Once I am done with that, I will take my skirt, I will set my sewing machine to the longest stitch. I'm going to stitch on my skirt. I will also repeat the same process with my lining. I have top stitched the side seam of my top dress. I take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. And I also go ahead and stitch around the neckline, top stitching, and I also top stitch around the armhole. I have also set my sewing machine to the longest stitch. I have stitched my skirt together. 
The next thing that you have to do, this is the back of my skirt, and this is the front of my skirt that is inside, and this is the front of my made top. I'm going to put it inside like this and separate my lining. The side seam of my top dress, the side seam of my skirt, I will put them together and I will secure that with a pin. And I will come to this other side, I will repeat the same process. The side seam of my top dress, the side seam of my skirt, put them together, secure that with a pin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to gather my skirt on my top dress. Once I am done with that, I will also repeat the same thing with my lining. Go ahead and do the same. I have gathered my skirt. This is how it is. I just pin it around the top dress. So what I'm going to do, I will take it on my sewing machine and top stitch it all around with half an inch seam allowance. And I will also repeat the same process with my line top stitch with half an inch seam allowance. Once I am done with that, I will take it to my overlocker, overlock the raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. Once you have done with that, use that opportunity to take your lining to your sewing machine, fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter, and top stitch it all around. That means you are hemming your lining. For my made top, I'm not going to hem my made top because I like the design at the bottom edge of my made skirt. So go ahead and stitch that together. This is the final look of my dress. You can see how it is once you have done making your own dress. And I have also hemmed my lining. I make sure that my lining is shorter than my main fabric. I have always explained, make sure that your lining is shorter than your main fabric. You don't want your main fabric and your lining to be in the same length. Your lining is always shorter than your main fabric. Either two inch or 1.5 inch is good. This is how it look once you have done making. It's a cute dress easy tutorial step by step remember to watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out and you all should have a blessed day bye